Hi, I'm Jim Adamski with CDL, and today we're going to talk about the use of a sap hydrometer uh, versus the sap yield. So the first device we're going to talk about today is very simple. It is our sap hydrometer. This particular sap hydrometer is used to measure the bricks of our maple sap. So what the bricks basically stands for is uh, 0 to 100 percent, and that is the percent of sugar suspended in liquid. So this particular hydrometer goes from zero to eight bricks, or zero to eight percent sugar. Okay, for this particular example, we have a sample of sap, and uh, what we have done is we have lowered the sap hydrometer into the sap. We wanna make sure that we don't drop the sap hydrometer into the sap, we wanna gently lower it in so that we keep the stem of the hydrometer clean so that we do not add any additional weight. And as you can see by looking at the hydrometer that is in the test cup, you see our sap is a two bricks or a 2% sugar content coming from our tree. So we are gonna look at a rule that was made uh, back in the 1950s and it's called Jones Rule of 86, which is basically gonna take our sugar content of our sap, divide it into 86. And what this will do is this will give us the amount of gallons that it takes to make a gallon of maple syrup. So for this example, we have two brick sap. We divide that into 86 we will have 43 gallons of two brick sap to make a gallon of syrup. For additional tips, please visit our website.